I don't know if you've ever been in a scenario where it's difficult to make a choice and you're feeling pressure from two different directions. You may have experienced or at least know that, that there is a tension between what God has called us to do and what other people want us to do. And sometimes we really feel the pressure of that in either direction and those two parties are in co conflict with one another. Uh, sometimes there is a tension between our desire to be accepted and the conditions of which uh, acceptance is gained. So we have a desire for people to like us and for us to be in with the group and to be accepted. But sometimes what the group wants of us to be accepted is counter to what the Lord wants and how he wants us to live our lives. And as much as we would like to say it's so easy to choose what God wants, it is difficult, especially the more emotionally we needy we are at the time, it is difficult to choose God's direction over uh, our ability to be accepted by others. There is also a tension between, between our desire to defend our turf and God's desire for us to make peace with others. Uh, so we might not be, maybe sometimes we're the ones that are compliant and peaceful because we want to be accepted and there could be problems on that end. Maybe we're the ones that are more defiant and, and no one's going to tell me what to do and, and I'm going to uh, defend my rights and defend my territory. And there is a time that that is appropriate. But then there are times when God's calling us to be peacemakers and he's calling us to get along with others. And how do I know how to manage that tension between me wanting things to be my way and me being able to fulfill God's call to be a peacemaker, be at peace with others. So with that tension, how do we know when to fight and when to back down? How do we have the courage to, to hold ourselves back or the courage to fight? How do we know how to fight correctly? Uh, how do we manage these tensions and, and make the right choices? How do we know what choices to make in the midst of all of these tensions that we feel on a regular basis, in the midst of a season where there's a, a pandemic, there's COVID, there's a political situation that is so tense and, and their ideologies are so strong. There, there's been the race issues in our, in our country this year as well. And how do I know how to do the right things in the midst of these tense times? Uh, and how can I have the courage to face the pressure, face the resistance and resist the right way? How do I get a resistance strategy? Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, they were told they needed to bow or they were gonna be thrown in the fiery furnace. And they reacted to that a certain way that will demonstrate for us how we can develop a healthy resistance strategy in our lives. I hope you will join us for that. That's this Sunday at 10 a.m. Uh, you can join us in person in the sanctuary at Bethel Assembly of God, or you can join us through drive-in church. We'll have sound pumped out to the parking lot, or you can join us by streaming on YouTube or on Facebook. I hope you'll join us and I hope that you'll invite somebody else to be with us as well. I know some of you are doing that and I greatly appreciate that. Uh, invite someone to join us in any of those venues. Uh, we would so much appreciate that as we try to get more people to gain the insights that scripture is giving us. Uh, if you're on Facebook, please use the, the calendar event that I'll put in with this video in the comments. Please use that calendar event to, to share with people uh, on your Facebook account, uh, share them on your newsfeed, uh, invite people directly, uh, and I would much appreciate that. If you have any questions about this coming service uh, or about what I said in this video, please feel free to put those in comments. And I look forward to seeing you this Sunday as we learn how to develop a strategy for resistance. See you then.